Okay, it's Tuesday. So today I am going to talk to you about how to get um, a flawless look with your foundation and concealer. And if you notice today, I've got my five minute face look on. Um, so that involves just um, after I've done my eye primer, I did just um, a shadow here called Sunlit Rose. Um, I also did black eyeliner, kind of tight lined underneath my eyelash. Um, I've done my brows already, which I have another video. I'll be showing you how to apply lips and brow, lips and brows. And, um, and then I just have my uh, foundation on, but I always, always, always use under eye corrector and concealer before my foundation. Okay. So just a little reminder about priming your skin before you apply foundations. Um, hopefully if you did not take your foundation finder quiz, you make sure to do that as soon as possible to get entered to win, um, the foundation primer from yesterday. And then um, it will guide you into what formula of our foundations is best for you as well. So for me, I have already applied that foundation primer underneath my skin. So I did this side already with my foundation. This side has none. This has just got my foundation primer on it. So I'm going to show you how I complete the look over here um, on this side. So to get this to look like that, wait to get this to look like that. <laughs> and then we have a couple things we need to do. So first and foremost, um, we need to use the amazing under eye corrector. Okay, if you know me, you know that I love myself some under eye corrector. So the under eye corrector is something that has a peach tone to it. So it's not intended to match your skin, okay? It's intended to counteract the bluish um, kind of purple color undertone that you might have on your skin. So it will neutralize that color, okay? So when I apply my under eye corrector, I'm literally going under my eyes, but that's where, you know, you kind of look, if you look a little tired, that's where it's going to kind of show a little bit, right? So that's where I put my under eye corrector. And then I'm using a foundation um, brush to um, just kind of dab it in. Okay. So that's what I'm doing there. And that just kind of gets, oh, gets the shadowy look out from underneath your eye area. Okay. So amazing. Look at that. Just in that one little swoop. That's how that works. Love that product. Love it. My absolute favorite desert island. What I would take with me <laughs> is an under eye corrector. Um, okay, so that's the under eye corrector. Now, next up, I'm going to be applying foundation. So foundation is uh, particular, right, to each of our skin types and also to our preference as well. So some of you may prefer powders. Some of you may prefer a liquid. Um, I personally prefer a liquid. Um, if I'm looking for very sheer coverage and an easy kind of um, uh, uh, two-in-one, we have our tinted moisturizer. It's called a CC cream. So it's more than just a tinted moisturizer. It's a complexion corrector. So it also helps to even out the skin tone. It does have some sunscreen in it as well, but it's kind of like your hydration and your skin color um, uh, foundation in one. So that's something I highly recommend. Uh, very, very popular um, tinted sunscreen. It's called CC cream. Okay. Then we also have our other liquid foundations that provide a little bit more coverage. We have our matte wear and also a luminous wear. Um, sometimes I'll mix the two just to get a semi-matte. Um, but that's probably more on a going out kind of look. Um, nine times out of ten, I'm using the matte wear foundation and it's in our 3d formula so it comes in a tube like this and that means it's got a little bit of skincare benefits to it as well which is fabulous and um i always apply it with a uh, foundation brush as well uh, never use your fingers you guys they have oils on them right and dirt and so you're just after you've done any, everything to cleanse your skin and prep your skin if you use your fingers to apply foundation then you're just applying oil and it does affect the color okay it does affect the color um, and just the overall um, um, 
what's the word I'm looking for, but the overall uh, sheerness of the color and the smoothness of the look. So if you've got the oil in there, that doesn't really help. So I know sometimes we get in a hurry and do that, but really try to have those brushes handy so that you can apply them, uh, apply these things with brushes. Now, the other key too, or little tip I should say, is to apply the foundation to the back of your hand first you'll use a lot less product and you'll also use less product when you use a foundation brush as well if you use your fingertips you're also going to use more foundation than necessary so the color i am using is beige 150 it's a beige neutral 150. our foundations go in undertones so usually if you're like a warmer undertone that means that um Typically, you're more of someone who just kind of tans in the summertime. If you're a neutral, a lot of times you can burn a little bit, but then you get tan. And if you're a cool color undertone, that means you burn and then you burn and then you go back to white. <laughs> and then you burn again and then you go back to white. It's just a, it, you're more of a pink undertone, okay? And so it's very difficult to get a tan. But the best thing is, is we have a foundation that's gonna make your skin look flawless. And that's in a cool tone, okay? So there's cool, neutral, and warm, all right? So I happen to kind of fall into the neutral category, especially in the summertime. I'm really not warm, because I'm not an olive skin tone, but I do get tan. So that's why I love um, the neutral undertone works best for me. So that is, there we go. So that is our foundation. So now I'm gonna apply our concealer. Now the concealer, you wanna go one shade lighter than your skin tone. So I'm gonna be using a deep ivory. They come in um, light ivory, deep ivory, light beige, deep beige, um, light bronze, deep bronze. So there's a color in our concealer for everybody. And you want to um, take the concealer and I just do like a little, kind of like a little triangle in this center part of my cheek. The reason I'm doing that is because it helps to kind of brighten um, up underneath the eye area. And I'm using a concealer brush, which I have right here. So this is a concealer brush. See how it's kind of got a, um, a uh, kind of an arrow tip to, the, to it there. And it's smaller. So I'm kind of trying to narrow this into a smaller area like that. And I'm just kind of dabbing it in. So with our concealer, now if you had, for example, age spots um, that you're trying to cover, you'd want to use a concealer brush right on the spot and kind of tap it out. Um, that's going to be better than using the under eye corrector. So you can't double that up. It's two different products giving you two different results there, okay? So the concealer's a little bit more concentrated. It's gonna have better coverage for things that are in the pinks. So like if you have a blemish you're trying to cover, or if you have a dark spot, you're gonna wanna use concealer. Otherwise, you wanna use the under eye corrector for our under eye tired areas, okay? So see how that just kind of brightened up a little bit? I love it. And it's super easy, super easy to do. Okay, and then last but not least, right we have to put a little kiss of color on our cheeks so the color i'm using is shy blush i'm using our cheek color brush and i actually don't have cheek color on this side yet either so i'm going to go ahead and just apply it here on this side and i just kind of do a little bit of tapping like that and just kind of blend it in a little bit i love this color because it's a great neutral it does have a little bit of a metallic sheen on the gold side so it does give you a little bit of a gold metallic there we go. All right. Does that make a difference? Just like that little, little cheeks. All right. There we go. And now we're ready, <laughs> ready for the day. Um, oh, there's one more thing. Now I will be honest and tell you, I don't always do this setting powder, but when I'm due, I'm glad I did. Um, but this is our setting powder. So this would be like the final touch to your, um, to your face. And uh, in the foundation scheme of things, the um, uh, kind of setting the look for the day. And it's a setting powder that comes in a container like this. And so I just, I shake it up and I put a little bit so it falls in the, um, the lid. If you dump this into the container like that, you're gonna get way too much product on your skin and you will be like, whoa. Use, you're just wasting it really, you know, you can always blend it out, but you don't need to waste your product, you know, make it last as long as you can. So I went like that and then I'm just going to set everywhere. I think I did do that on my 
Uh, I didn't do it on top of my cheek color on this side. I think I did do a little powder on that side. But there we go. And now we have set our makeup and we are good for the day and uh, ready to go. So I hope this was helpful to you. Um, so the challenge for today, the challenge for today, I'm gonna be posting a few links to different um, success stories in Mary Kay. There's some of my girlfriends that just share a little bit about their background and what they, um, love about their Mary Kay business, how it fits into their life. Uh, we love Mary Kay because of the fact that, you know, whatever else you're doing in your life, you can keep as a priority and Mary Kay can kind of just sprinkle in and um, add add something to your life. It can enhance it. And so um, anyway, we've got uh, quite a few videos to choose from. I'll post them here. And uh, all you have to do is just watch the video and then um, what you'll do is uh, there'll be a little link to just fill out a quick survey. Once you do that, then you'll be entered into the drawing um, for the product of the day, which is actually going to be um, one of our foundations. So whatever foundation of your choice is, then you will be entered to win that as a free gift for today. When you watch the video, give your quick survey feedback, um, you'll be entered to win. So cannot wait to... Uh, show you what I've got in store for you tomorrow. So make sure to come back in, tune in, remember to like the video, comment, say something that you learned from what I shared with you today, and then share this video with a girlfriend so um, we can spread the word. All right. So have a fabulous day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.